All right, Cancer. Tell me the answers, baby. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Several. And I am back at it again to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of November. We want to make it a month to no. Ugh, can't even talk. A month to remember, baby. You know, this 2020 Show Me the Money energy. We all about them coins this year. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So listen, if there's anyone who would like to support the page, number one, you can do that by liking, sharing, and subscribing. I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies. Thank you everyone thank you to everyone for clicking this video if you would like to book a personal or private reading only thing you need to do is check the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page all right it has my pricing list i only do video readings um so you can contact me to get booked on instagram messenger if you do not have instagram messenger choose not to use your instagram for this video reading um we utilize google hangouts which is a freezy easy app to download the only thing that you need to do is exchange your email information with me my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com so again if you do not want to use uh instagram or uh, if you don't have instagram just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com i'll help you get all set up at google hangouts and we'll be all good to go okay cancer as you know we always give thanks to the lord to the savior to the creator to the universe whatever you want to call them before we tap into the energy um there was a message that I did receive cleansing my decks during the pre-shuffle. Um, I kept hearing, I don't think that she wants me. I don't think that she or he wants me. And then when I was shuffling this deck right here, the air magic card came out and... It basically said that you were about to speak. It's just like y'all don't feel confident about it's something or it's some something or someone that y'all are desiring. Could be a job too, but whatever it is, it's like you don't think that whoever it is or whatever it is wants you is going to pick you, and that air magic card basically told me that you were literally speaking whatever this is that you want into fruition like you're going to keep telling yourself I feel like to change your mind and to change your thought process around it it's like you're trying to learn to think and believe in yourself more and to be more positive in your thoughts and what you're saying to yourself and what you're putting out to the universe I definitely see you guys are using air magic um, when that I seen that it's like ever you are writing this petition down to God and you're keeping it in your pocket you're keeping it in your wallet like you're writing down what you want and you're keeping it very close to your skin or something like that or like I said you're speaking this into fruition anyway enough about that let me give thanks so Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. You know we're here in search for the answers, Father God. I thank you so much for just waking us up every day, giving us uh, clear thoughts, fresh daily bread, and just nourishment to keep us going and to keep us knowing who we are so we can stay in faith and stay in clarity in regards to our visions and our hopes and our dreams for the future, Father God. Continue to strengthen our vision. Continue to... Um, Show us test of faith because we're starting to like at first we didn't like all of this test and all of this, these obstacles and stuff. But like the more and more that we're starting to, you know, defeat, you know what I'm saying? We will not accept defeat, you know what I'm saying? But the more and more that we are, you know conquering these challenges and we will not be defeated. We would not accept defeat. It's making us stronger. So it's like. We're not scared of the test anymore. We're not upset about keep being tested. Like, we understand what the tests are for. So, um, we just thank you for your constant push on us. Because it's building character and it's building strength. And we give you thanks for that, Father God. So, thank you so much for our clairvoyant visions we're learning to trust our foundations that you are placing around us continuing to be hard work um to continuing to be in a place of hard work but most importantly 
to trust what we're seeing and what we know is going on in front of our face. Because sometimes we be in denial about things and we know it, but we just don't do anything about it. And it's like we're trusting our intuition when you give us guided messages now. And we're not just sitting there just allowing things to happening happen. We're doing things about it this time. So we just thank you so much for um, this transition in our life, Father God. So continue to keep us at peace. Continue to give us messages and continue to be with us every step of the way, Father God. We give you thanks and we give you praise. And only you and you or only you could have been the one that could have force this change into our life, Father God. So, uh, thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Alright. Let's get into this, Cancer. Let's see what you want to tell me. Let's see what we got going on today. Oh, I just saw that little boy face. Ooh, something hurt. <laughs> like, ooh, something just hit you in your chest. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, what was that? Hold on. Ooh, something hurt. <laughs> it's like some got you kind of choked up. It's like you 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 would cry if you could cry, but you ain't gonna cry. <laughs> so, ooh. What? <laughs> okay, so this card just popped out. Yeah. Let me see what I pick up with that. I, they're just saying you're exercising. I always said I'm happy to exercise my strength. I'm happy to exercise my strength at this time. Like, I feel healthy. I'm happy. Uh, I feel like you've, you've gathered a few positive friendships. Like, some that you really do feel like will carry on to old age. I want to say everybody is kind of successful and happy and you like exercising your strength now. Like, you feel comfortable hanging with this group, I feel. I feel like you all are successful. And you all been, like, these. this, this could be a group of people that you've known for a long time and y'all been, like... The four of y'all have literally known each other since y'all were children. And y'all growing into old age with each other. And, um... I want to say, like, you guys are growing old and exercising your strengths together. Like, you guys could be all going through the same thing at the same time. <laughs> That's what I feel like. It's like, damn, why y'all be going through the same thing at the same time? Like, what the fuck is going on with that? Like, you guys are having to reach out to each other to show each other how to, you know, exercise your strength together or something like that. Oh, okay. Go ahead, pop out like that, Cancer. All right. Okay, so and I don't know why uh, why this always keep coming. Why I always keep hearing this? I heard this. I don't know if it was earlier today or if it was with another reading that I had did that I just recently went back and listened to. But what Cancer just told told me it was like, you might have taken what's best of me, but you won't take what's left of me. I feel like Cancer is with their friends right now. You might have took what's best in me, but you won't take what's left in me. 
I'd rather be with my friends right now. Y'all are supporting each other at this time. All of y'all. I feel like each one of y'all are going through like the same changes but in very different ways. Very, very different ways. I mean, like it's just the time. Like all of y'all are growing old. It's time to grow up and mature. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... So I do have three additional decks here on the side um, that I will use for y'all because I've been using it for everyone else today. Y'all can thank Capricorn because Capricorn started it. So, shoot. Those are just supposed to be my daily bread. You know, like when I come on and I do the daily bread readings for y'all. That was just supposed to be for my daily bread. But, goddamn. Oh, and why both of y'all? Why both of those cards in the reverse? Okay, so let me address that so it won't keep goddamn. Fuck, niggas keep changing their numbers for See, that's suspect. I ain't got time for that shit. What? No. Anyway, listen. So let's go right down the sense of here. The nine of air. What the? What? 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 <laughs> Y'all, this is like you guys are having a persistent headache for some reason. There's some type of persistent headache. There's some type of mental stress or anxiety, something that is paining you. Remember when I was flipping through the through the decks and I seen that picture of that boy? He looked like he's trying to hold in a cry and you can see like all of the veins and shit. You know, have you ever like Someone said something to you. Remember when you were young and you were trying to hold a cry back and then make your throat and shit start burning? <laughs> it's like, I, that's what I'm getting. It's like... Did why did just say I got to stretch? Say I got to stretch. Say I have to stretch my stuff out. What the fuck does that mean? What you mean? You gotta stretch your stuff, your your stuff out. Okay, they said I gotta, sh I gotta, I gotta stretch it out. Like this shit is stressing me out. Like I, it, like, what are you meaning by I gotta stretch it? I gotta stretch it. Something about I gotta stretch it. Cause something is stressing you out. What the fuck? Uncertainty. Choose who you will become. Oh. It's saying you stretching yourself out too thin. Like you're stretching yourself. But it's like you're saying like I gotta stretch it out. Because. This motherfucker is driving me crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't stop thinking about this. Like, I gotta stretch myself. It's like, ever it's like you're having to stretch yourself out and you're having to work out and stretch your ligaments and things out to make sure that you are prepared for a new workout regimen, whatever your new lifestyle is, where you're going to have to be more active and not just sitting around thinking and stressing yourself out about something. But it's like... um Cause it's like you're, you're you're sitting around, you're racking your brain out. I definitely feel like you're trying to cut yourself out of a situation that got you in little pieces. Like you're in little fucking pieces, and you're so uncertain because you don't know who you are at this point and at this moment. I mean, other than when you're with your friends and stuff like that, like you know who you are with them, but outside of you hanging with your colleagues, like who 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 am I? What do I truly want at this moment? You know what I'm saying? What will my future look like? I can't even stress to you 
how deep this moment of uncertainty is. It's like, well, here I go, got to start over again. And I feel like, again, you don't want to stretch yourself out too thin. They're saying because people would not consider you trustworthy if you're stretching yourself out all over the place. But at the same time, you feel like you have to. Like you have to stretch. Like you have to prepare. You have to make sure that you're flexible. Because like stretching is make yourself flexible, right? But maybe you shouldn't be so fucking flexible. Maybe you shouldn't be too flexible. That's why people say something about untrustworthiness. Let me just keep on going, but... You, you, you're going crazy because I don't know if you're trying to work this out amongst friends. I normally work together. Let me see. Let me, let me just keep going. All right. What is this? The awakening. So this is the judgment card in the reverse. This is like non-approval non of a situation. Like, this is not approved. Use your time well. Make every moment count. Oh! They say that you're stretching yourself. You're, you're stretching yourself too thin amongst your friends and your family. And I, I feel like you need to use your time wisely because like this, it, it's, you may be choosing your friends over your lover or something like that. And you feel like you got to stretch yourself, but you got like about four or five different friends that you're trying to spend your time with at the same time, trying to come back home and do this and do this and do that. It's like, I know y'all all trying to make a way together. It's like y'all all trying to come up together, but... I don't feel like you really got time for that because at the end of the day, if you really feel like you're stretching yourself so thin and the same type of attention you're trying to give to this person, trying to get to that person, trying to get to that person, you're trying to get to that person, trying to make everyone feel equal. But at the same time, because I just, I feel like because you're trying to stretch yourself thin between so many people, people really do deem you as untrustworthy because I don't think that you... Because it's like, at some point, people are going to need you to choose a favorite. And I think that that's what's driving you crazy. It's like, I might not have a favorite right now. I'm trying to treat everyone equally. I'm driving myself crazy trying to spend my time wisely and make sure every... I just... God, I feel like you're, 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 you're wiring yourself down too thin. Where you don't even have nothing left for yourself. Like there's nothing left for yourself. The page of wands in the reverse. So again like your tenacity has ran dry. Like you. <laughs> like the fire has burnt out. I feel like you're burnt out. I don't feel like you've been using your time wisely. I want to say you've been preoccupied with your friends. And there's something going on here. Where they're trying to say that you have a lack of judgment. Like you're not aware of how much time you may be spending with your friends and family and not at home. You're not using the well-valued um, stint of your time with people that. Because I ain't seeing nothing about no home here, bro. I'm just seeing like. With the page of bonds in the reverse, like, you could have a, like, <laughs> there could be, like, an imbalance between, like, the amount of time you spend with the people that you're fucking. And we mean just fucking because these are not people that you have any type of long-standing commitment with or that you're acting like that. Because whoever you're dealing with sexually may think that. Things ain't going nowhere with you because 
you so in and out and all over the place because you hear one minute but you spend more time with your friends and your colleagues and you're not making yourself aware of how neglectful you could be in other areas and with this judgment in the reverse I feel like this is something that you could have gone through before and you should have learned lessons about this but you just didn't like you keep making the same fucking mistake over and over and like people are tired of forgiving you it's like you want to be with your friends go be with your fucking friends you know what i'm saying you ain't got no time for me the passion is not there like you always say you coming over my house or you want to do this and you'll never show up it's like the shit is getting it's getting boring you know what I'm saying? It's like too in and out, too all over the place. One minute you here, one minute you not. I don't know if you coming or going for real, for real to know if this is a good value of my time. The way I'm looking at it, you want to be with your friend? Go fuck your friends then. Are you fucking your friends? Like what? Why would you be? How can you not see? It's like because the judgment card is like. Someone calling you, you know what I'm saying? Like judgment. We're here to, to 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 lay down this verdict. I'm calling you to the table so we can address this situation and come down with a verdict. And it's like I'm calling you and you ain't showing up to court. All right, so now I'm gonna have to put a bench warrant out for your arrest. And you know what I'm saying? Because I don't got time to be playing with your ass right now. Like I, I'm sorry. Like I I don't have time. Listen. There's no room for arguments. Like someone is looking at you like you're nothing but a pack of spades. Like, mm, tired of having disagreements. I'm tired of you not seeing things my way. Like if I was one of your friends, maybe you listen to me. But I guess because I'm not one of your friends, like whatever I'm saying is not important. That's cool. I'm the, you make me feel unimportant. I'm just not gonna be important. Then like I, I'm not. I'm not doing this with you totally not doing this with you don't even want your sex so you can keep that you can keep your friends like i'm tired of like dealing with this uncertainty about where where i stand in your life like your friends seem more important you want to go like i'm just done i'm done look the six of wands in the reverse look lack of recognition lack of attention like a disgruntled worker it's like every fucking thing that i do for you i feel like it gets thrown back in my face and, it, and you make me regret for having given you my time and my attention at all because when you want to see me i jump to please you and i satisfy you but you won't even blink an eye to me to do that with me you know what i'm saying and I'm the fuck over it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use my time wisely. And my time just doesn't look like it needs to be spent with you. You're nothing but a pack of cards. Like I, I, like, I was really giving you too much credit and too much attention and too much, you know, I was giving you too much. Like, you really didn't even deserve that. What is this? The Eight of, the eight of Swords. And then the Strip Card. So this is someone that really, really, regardless... Of how they're telling you they feel. They really do feel locked up and trapped. In. Bondage here. With this situation. You know what I'm saying. But at the same time. They're, they are standing up for themselves. And they're. You know. Showing a feat of strength. Because it, it's taken a lot for them to. Um, I want to say have some respect for themselves. And not allow you to just keep. Running and out and run all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Like they're finally speaking up. They're standing up for themselves. And like. Clearly with the nine of air. This person still feels trapped. Mentally about the situation. So even though that they are. Standing up for themselves. And. They said what they mean. And they mean what they say. They are not forgiving you for. Not showing them attention and spending more time with their friends. Like bringing all the stress and confusion in their life. Because it's like you say. I don't even see anything here that says that they love you. Nothing. No. It's no love here. Sorry. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. This could literally be someone that's just a fucking attention whore. You know what I'm saying? They only want the attention... 
They only want your attention when they want your attention. When you want their attention, they couldn't give a fuck about what you got to say. Like, they look. You're nothing but a pack. Like, they don't. They rather spend time with their friends. And I get it. Like, you don't need to shove it down my face. I get it. Go be with your friends. Go be with your friends. What is this? We got the Ten of Diamonds in the reverse. And then you got the Hiaya of Fire in the reverse. So, again, this is... The, again, this is the page of wands in the reverse, and then it's the ten. So, like, there was definitely a breakdown in some type of financial commitment with each other. Like, you could have been taking care of this person, or you could have been taking care of each other. Not no more. You barely own. Like, you, you with your friends. Like, you are doing whatever else you want to do that you know suits your passions. Like, your dick went home with me. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, if you was having sex, if you were being fulfilled emotionally, spiritually, spiritu spiritually, physically, it had to be been with someone else. You're saying you're with your friends. I, look, if you say you're with your friends, you, you're with your friends. But I'm just saying, unless you fucking your friends, I don't believe you with your friends, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't believe that shit. Abby, you gay. You understand what I'm saying? And you fucking your friends because ain't, ain't, ain't that much spending time with your friends in the world where you ain't coming home and you ain't giving attention to me. What you mean? Like you rather us be headed to divorce? Having to split up assets and start everything over because you want to hang with your friends? Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, right. What does it say? My name means the shape that I am that I, my name means the shape that I am, and a good, handsome shape it is, too, so this is like an arrogant, cocky-ass motherfucker, like, you're the Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, but Humpty Dumpty's arrogant ass had a great fall, so at the end of the day, look, as long as you feel like you're in good shape, that's good to go, we're good to go, because my coins is going to be good to go with me. So you just better make sure that you take care of your motherfucking self. And all that shit you talking. Make sure that you keep squawking that shit all the way to the courthouse, bitch. Because I will see you there. Like, I'm done. I'm the fuck done. I'm over it. So the fuck over it. What does it say? Keeping up. Immense effort. Advance. Uh, Y'all might be right now just trying to keep an, keep up appearances. for Y'all be keeping up with the Joneses. I feel like y'all are just keeping up. The appearance for the sake fuck of it, but I definitely see that there is a divorce and there's a breakdown of assets and maybe some child support or some alimony that's going to have to be settled here. And you definitely see the judgment in the reverse. So whoever this is that has been neglecting their partner because they'd rather be with their friends. This relationship was ends up in nothing but a whole bunch of karmatic ass arguments. Y'all argue too much. Y'all fuss and fight. This is not a productive use of time. There's no attention. Like you guys could be in the house and literally not even fucking talk to each other. This person is on the phone talking to someone else completely uninvolved with you. Completely. That's why you're having this uncertainty. That's why you're like, listen... I want to get the fuck away, but I just like, ugh, I don't know how I can see my way out of it right now, but I'm, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to figure, I'm going to figure something the fuck out because you're in a dark place right now and you're just trying to find something familiar to hold on to so that, so that you can get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need like a safe, a safety net, like, uh. Like, you know, like how some kids have a, like, their little blanket. They call it my blankie. Like, okay, I don't know. Like, if you have, like, a blankie, like a safety net or something. Should some of your own friends or something. I I feel like there's someone going through this by their self. Like, whoever this is, someone has a whole bunch of friends, a social life, and goes off and does whatever the fuck they want to do. And they're definitely sleeping around. I mean, tch, most definitely there are two one-off new things that are going on talking to someone right here and then talking to someone over here oh no someone right here and someone over there two didn't i tell you i told you it's you and two other people okay 
So it's not you, them, and one other person. It's you and side bitch number one and side bitch number two. This person ain't with they fucking friends. This person ain't with they fucking friends. You know that shit. Like, if anything, them, the, the friends, they all freaking frack together. The friends do. The friends are hip. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, that's what this person in the squad do. You know what I'm saying? Like, they get people to come around, show them all this time and attention and shit. And all that shit just ends up backfiring on the people. You know what I'm saying? You put all that effort out and you ain't get none of it back. If anything, you getting swords in your back. You ain't getting none of that motherfucking shit back. You guys, but listen. What is this? The knight of the king? Is this the knight of one? The king of wands in the reverse. So this is like a grown ass man that's been set in his ways. Like this person just a whore ass, like fickle, pickle. Like, ill. Like this person has commitment issues. This person has certain failures in life. That they may not want to fess up to. This person could be lazy and active in regards to um, sound security and development around them. Like the King of Wands is someone that has the gift of gab that is a manipulator in the way that they know how to touch people's emotions and get them to work on their behalf. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this. King of Wands in reverse may need a place to stay or a car, but they don't want to have to go work and get a place to stay or a car. So I'm just going to go fuck this bitch over here. She's going to let me stay with her, but when I leave her house, she lets me use her car. You see what I'm saying? When this one doesn't let me use the car. So at the end of the day, it's like I let them do my bidding for me. I don't have to work. I don't have to pay bills or rent. I don't have to do anything. Like, I just, like... This person is smart enough with, listen, I'm going to have my cake and I'm going to eat it too with you, you, and especially you. Do you understand what I'm saying? What you mean? I ain't got to do shit. Me and my friends, we're committed in this lifestyle. We're celebrating this way. Like, this is how we get up. This is how the fuck we get up. This is what we do. You understand what I'm saying? What is this? The chariot in the reverse. I don't want you to be emotionally set to move forward with me. I want you to be right where you are. Because I know the... I do, like this, this, whoever this is, cancer got you right where the hell they want you. Have this cancer got you right where they... Have this cancer got you right where they want you. Or cancer, they got you in the right place. They want you to be scared and be frightened to walk out of the dark. Do you understand? Because they know you're, are you afraid of the dark? Y'all remember that on Snick? On Nickelodeon on Snick at Night? Nick at Night, are you afraid of the dark? They already know that you were. You understand what I'm saying? But whole time, God sent you a safety net. They sent a, 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 a familiar, a guest, um, you know what I'm saying? An animal, something that... That animal is used to that forest and knows that forest in and out with the eyes closed. The animal sees that you're scared and you're clearly in a place that you do not belong to be there. It's like, I don't even know who left this little girl out here in this forest. Like, I'm going to see her to the main road where at least that there's light. Because I feel like you're in the, like you're literally in the woods. You're in the thick of the woods with this. Like, you're in the thick of the woods. Like, you see how her eyes are covered? She can't see. You know? But God is bringing you a pillar of strength so that you can see and figure a way to negotiate yourself and get yourself out of this situation. Because you definitely seem emotionally unsure of yourself. Because I want to say I don't feel like you know exactly what's going on. Because this person is saying that they're with their friends. They're not with their fucking friends. Like, cut it the fuck out. Seven of Wands. Like this person may even be attacking you for questioning them about your uncertainty because I feel like you don't know what's going on. It's just your mind and your thoughts. It just would not let it down. You cannot stop thinking about this. It's like I just don't feel like this person is with their friends. I keep calling this person and this person isn't answering. So the judgment to me is when someone is calling you to show up in some type of way to show proof or show evidence of something so that you can feel clear free of judgment you see what i'm saying but every time you call this motherfucker it's like either this person is arguing with you 
like accusing you of being insecure or something like it's downright dreadful here like this is some bullshit and I want to say it's tearing you into little itty bitty pieces inside that's why that pomegranate is right there I want to say your soul tore up inside because you don't have any proof I feel like if you had proof you would be able to thoroughly see your way out of this situation but right now you feel like you're just right now you feel like you're arguing with your imagination because you don't have any proof and you're standing up for yourself about something that you don't have evidence on am i making any sense and it's like whatever y'all be arguing about you just be like well fuck it you ain't nothing anyway fuck you you know what i'm saying like fuck you like y'all could even be physically violent with each other there could be physical violence most definitely with this what is this Give into to passion. Yeah, like, focus on something other than this, this situation. Because, like, focus on your art. Focus on your gift. Focus on your talent. Because this person isn't focused on you. This person is focused on their friends and everybody else that they can stick their dick in. This is not someone that is committed to you. This is not someone that is honoring you. Like, go sing. Create your music. Go do your garden and deal with your animals, right? Do whatever it is that you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Now I see why this person is saying she ain't going to want me. Because this is what you did to her. This is what you did. Now I know. Because it's like, why would, why, why would I have seen what I've seen in the pre-shuffle? And, and, and it's this, this energy said what they said to me in the pre-shuffle. A new day. And then what is this divine timing is at play? So I really do feel like someone right now is thoroughly giving into their path. And then this is the eye, the all-seeing eye. So, like, God is watching this whole situation. I mean, God seen how this whole situation played out. I want to say that this is the past. Is this the past? Can you please give me the guidance? Is this the past? Present. Or future. Give me guidance. Where's the current place for this energy? abundance so okay okay so basically what this is telling me like this is in regards to your forward abundance this is in regards to what's coming to you in a new day um i feel like most definitely that you had to see this person and see things for who they are on your own it's not that God wasn't trying to help you out of this situation. God wanted you to see it for yourself and make the decision for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, there is divine timing at play here. Everything that goes up must goes down. What you put out in the universe, you get directly boomeranged back. So you don't focus yourself. I don't want you to spend another night staying up worrying about this person, where they at. What they said to you earlier, you think that they're lying. Why this person's not answering your calls, they're not paying you no attention. You know, I don't want you, I don't even want you to be in this dark space anymore. Because like I told you, God is sending you someone that is going to help you decide this new day. The sun is shining, the happiness is coming out. I feel like I want you to take all of this information that you have gathered and that you have received from this experience. And I want you to put it in your art. That's how things are really going to go up for you. That's how things are really going to go up for you. And you will see abundance. Focus on your art and your passion. I want to say some of y'all already have. I want to say all it some. I, I really want to say that this is what happened. I want to say that this is what happened. Because why would you be saying. That, that she. It, what was it that, that she don't want me no more? She wouldn't want to be with me? Or 
someone wouldn't want because you see that this person got their guard up their defense they're defensive they got their guard up you know what I'm saying because you were not emotionally involved with them this person had two other mistresses and it was a complete waste of time and energy and someone did walk away from this situation feeling like it was a burden on them mentally and physically it could have did a physical toll on them you know what i'm saying in regards to their spiritual spiritually you know it was a waste of time it made them feel uncertain about their self you know where they make they might they had to find themselves out of the darkness and find clarity for themselves because everything that they wanted to believe in it was hard to believe in it because what you're saying isn't fact it isn't fact you know what I'm saying and right now uh, listen you were trying to keep up with the Joneses holding on to something just to have something to hold on to putting in all this effort and this person is putting effort in every Tom Dick and Harry but you Last clarifying words, please, for my cancers. What's the last clarifying words and words of guidance for my cancers? Again, the strength card again. It's time for you to fight the beast. Whatever type of bondage, addiction, hold this person has on you i feel like you're fighting against it and you will continue to stand and remain strong during this time i feel like divine timing had everything to do with it you have to go through this for a reason it was for you to regain your strength as above so below everything that this person did to you will boomerang right back to them don't worry about it and sometimes god is very funny he'll sit back and let you watch too the moon mm-hmm your intuition was on 10 okay you not crazy you not crazy there's some shit going on in the background that you have no idea about that is yet to be exposed to you let's clarify the moon please what's the secret this is the five of wands yeah five of wands that there's competition i told you didn't i tell you that there's other people that this person is dealing with there is there's several different people that are competing for this role like this person is not under no circumstances this in the sun happiness will come to you and that's why i came right on over here with the strength that's why i came right on over here with the strength sure enough their happiness will come to you and everything will be illuminated to you everything that is done in the dark will come the fuck to the light okay and the person that's doing this is a masculine energy. That's the sun. The person that's doing this is the masculine energy, okay? This could have something to do with childbirth, too. You could have just had a son, you know? So, listen. And it's raining outside. When it rains, it pours. But when it rains, oh, honey, it washes away a lot of bull crap. This and the devil in the reverse. Remove this toxic energy to fuck from up away from you. Period. Period. You don't compare what you don't compete with. And that's bottom line. You better stand up for it. Like your, you better stand up like your life depends on it. This person puts you in this situation where you gotta try to define who you are in a situation. Shit, what? Baby, ever you 100% for me or you ain't with me or for me at all. Bottom line. Last look the world in reverse. You gotta close this door, close this chapter in order for you to move forward. You're gonna have to show God your test of strength. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna that's your that's you being called to judgment. Now God is asking you, the person on the receiving end, do you have good clarifying judgment? Have you clarified for yourself where you fit in this person's world? It looks like you don't fit in this person's world at all. And you about to solidify that. So there could be no mistakes. You understand? There will be no uh, rereading of this chapter, mending of fences, none of that shit. I don't know. No, no, no. Justice in the reverse. Again, like I said, there will be no forgiving. There will be no justice being had for the frauds. Do you understand? It, it is not justified. You do not treat people this way. You do not honor yourself or anybody by acting and carrying on this way. 
every single thing that you gave out, this person will receive tenfold. Just like you said, Cancer, from the beginning, or whoever it is is dealing with the Cancer, they are nothing but a deck of fucking cards. You're nothing. Ain't even worth me frustrating my little pretty self or arguing with you or thinking about you. I don't forgive you. You didn't show up when I need you. You wanted to be with your friend. Go fuck your friends and go fuck yourself. That's it. The end. Peace. The fuck? <laughs> Bitch, and that's karmic justice. That's karmic justice, right? Yeah, exactly. Come on, Cancer. Y'all better tell them the motherfucking answers. Be like, bitch, you ain't slick. You ain't slick at all. I see you a half a mile away. Not even a mile away. I see you a half a mile. I see you a little bit closer than the average motherfuckers. Because God gave me that discernment. Okay? I'm not about to be standing around asking questions and be worrying myself about a motherfucking thing. You got one time to give me a motherfucker to, to come up as a nightmare in my motherfucking life. Okay? Okay? So I don't give a fuck about what you did with Liliana, Justina, Regina, Katrina. I ain't none of them bitches. That part. All right. So listen, Cancer, this has been your reading. Listen, I listen. Y'all said yes. I'm t t t t I ain't stupid. Them hoes ain't your motherfucking friends unless you fucking your friends. You ain't with your friends, bitch. Bam. Bye. Bye. <laughs>